Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, we'll be doing a review of Longtail Pro. So Longtail Pro is an all-in-one keyword research tool. So it allows you to do traditional keyword research. You're also able to do some competitive research, some backlink analysis, and you're also able to do rank tracking and some other features. Longtail Pro is a pretty popular keyword research tool. They've been in the SEO game for some time, but they recently added a lifetime deal on AppSumo. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do a full updated review of this tool to see how it compares to some of the other keyword research tools in the market. The regular monthly plan of Longtail Pro starts at $37 per month. You can get the Pro at $67 and the agency plan is $147. So if you're already familiar with Longtail Pro and you like it, I highly recommend grabbing the lifetime deal from AppSumo. So at the time of recording this video, you'd be able to pay one time and have lifetime access to Longtail Pro. So for $69, you'll be able to get 5,000 keyword lookups per month. You get five projects. You also get unlimited domains, unlimited keywords. And you also get a lot of other features included, such as the backlink analysis, daily rank updates, personal domain analysis, you get 5,000 backlink rows per 24 hours, 1,000 pages per crawl, and 10 crawls per day. So you get a lot more features for a lower price in the lifetime deal here on AppSumo. So again, if you want to go ahead and grab the lifetime deal, I'll go ahead and leave a link below this video. And if you wanted to, you can always stack your codes on AppSumo. So you can go ahead and get the tier two, which will give you 10,000 keyword lookups per month and 10 projects for $129. And again, you can go ahead and stack up to tier five, which will be 100,000 keywords lookup per month, 100 projects, and it would be just a one-time payment of $499. Just before we continue this review, I wanna let you know that I recently recorded a full 30 minute in-depth training on how I went from zero to over 10K per month from this YouTube channel. So if you wanna go ahead and check out that free training, I'll leave a link below. And once you have a plan for Longtail Pro, this is what your dashboard will look like. So as you can see, it looks like a very typical keyword research and competitive research tool. If you wanted to go ahead and start doing your keyword research, you just go ahead and uh, type in your seed keyword in which you're researching go ahead and click retrieve and you'll have a list of keywords in which you can choose from. And on the left hand side, you also have this SERP analysis. So this allows you to add a keyword um, for any keyword in which you're researching and you'll be able to see what the Google search results look like. You'll be able to see the competitive nature of the websites that are ranking for that keyword so that you can go ahead and judge if your website will be able to rank for that specific keyword. Next, you also have a rank tracker. So this allows you to track the keywords for your specific domains. So you wanna go ahead and enter your domain, enter some specific keywords in which you're trying to rank for, and you'll be able to keep track of those rankings. Next is your backlink analysis. So just go ahead and enter your domain or a competitor's domain to be able to see what backlinks um, are pointing to their websites. And this will allow you to find backlink opportunities for your specific website. Because if you find a website that's pointing to your competitors, most likely if you reach out to that website, they'll also give you a backlink as well. And then you have your profile and settings, billing information. So you also have some built-in video tutorials. So you can actually go ahead and do a simple bootcamp, which will allow you to really be able to figure out all of the features and integrations that you can use with Longtail Pro to get the most out of this tool. So let's go ahead and take a look at each specific feature starting with the keyword research tool. So again, you can go ahead and start your keyword research by searching up your seed keyword. So for this example, we'll be doing some research around green tea and you can also go ahead and enter your own domain. So if you wanna go ahead and get some keywords that's most relevant to your domain, you can go ahead and enter your domain here. So once you're happy with your seed keyword, go ahead and click retrieve. And once your keywords are loaded, this is what your keyword research will look like. The first tab here will be your average keyword competitiveness. And essentially this is your keyword difficulty metric. You have your volume here. And next you have your bid, which will tell you how much this will cost if you were to bid on Google AdWords. And then you have the word count for that specific keyword. Then you have the rank value. So this is if you were to rank for this specific keyword, how lucrative um, that specific keyword is, the language and the location. When you're doing your keyword research, you want to go ahead and do a broad search first to get an idea of um, some keywords that you can write about for your specific blog or website. But once you've went ahead and done your broad research, you want to get a little bit more specific. So in order to do so, you want to go ahead and toggle the advanced options here. So this will allow you to add some filters onto your keyword to find the perfect keyword for your specific blog or website. The first filter you can do is add a minimum search amount. So let's say you want to go ahead and get keywords that are only 500 um, searches and above. And you can also filter by the suggested bid, but I'm not gonna do that for this example. And if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll also be able to add some more filters. So you can go ahead and filter by keywords that include a specific 
um, words. So for instance, let's say you want to go ahead and only have keywords that include a specific word such as hot or such as cold or whatever is relevant to your specific um, keyword research, you can go ahead and do that. And you can also exclude specific keywords. So for instance, let's say if you want to exclude keywords that include Walmart, Amazon, Quora, or just keywords in which we're not really looking to rank for. You can also go ahead and add those filters in this section here. And if you head over to customize, you can actually go ahead and remove some of these specific um, columns or information which you don't need. So if you don't really need the bid, you can go ahead and remove that. And as you can see, that will be removed from your keyword research results. And once you're happy with your filters, just go ahead and click retrieve and you'll be able to get an updated um, keyword results. You also have the option to increase the amount of suggestions that you get for a specific keyword. So right now I just have 35, so you don't really get that many keywords, but you can go ahead and increase this up to 50 um, and pretty much any number that you want um, to be able to get more keyword suggestions for um, the keyword in which you're researching. So a suitable keyword would be something that has a low keyword difficulty. So this metric is between zero and 100. So the higher the number, the more difficult that keyword is. So you want to go ahead and find a keyword that has a low difficulty and also has a high or medium search volume. So a keyword such as peach green tea seems to be um, fitting that criteria. And also we can see that the rank value here is pretty high. So once you find a suitable keyword, just go ahead and click on that keyword and you'll be able to get some more information about that specific keyword. So we see here that the average keyword competitiveness is 30. We can also see that the search volume here is 1900. If we scroll down, we'll be able to see a breakdown of the competition on Google. So we can see the websites that are ranking for that um, specific keyword. And we can also see the competitiveness of their domain. So the higher the number, again, the um, harder it would be to rank for that specific keyword. So we can see here that we have some uh, websites that don't really have that high of a domain rating. So it would be easier to rank um, for this specific keyword. But this competitive analysis is really good because it allows you to get a snapshot of the Google search engine rankings for that specific keyword. Rather than having to go on Google and manually search it up yourself, you can get all that information here in one place. The next way you can use your keyword research tool is by searching up competitive keywords. So you can go ahead and enter the domain for your competition and you'll be able to see some of the keywords in which they're ranking for. And this is a really, really good tool because if your competitors are ranking for a specific keyword, then it's more likely that you can also rank for that keyword. So just go ahead and enter that keyword within this section here and click retrieve. And as you can see, the tool will start finding your competitors keywords. If you scroll down again, you'll be able to see the keywords that that specific website is ranking for. So this is a really, really um, great tool to use, especially if you're a newer website, you can go ahead and find some websites that are also kind of new within your niche, search up to see what keywords they're ranking for. And this will give you some great ideas of keywords in which you can start um, targeting and trying to rank for. And again, if you see any keyword in which you want to get some more information on, go ahead and click on that specific keyword and you'll be able to see a breakdown of that keyword. And lastly, you can go ahead and enter some manual keywords. So if you have some ideas for keywords that you want to get some information on, just go ahead and enter that in here and click retrieve. So below the keyword research tool, we have the SERP analysis. So again, just go ahead and enter any keyword um, within this section here and you'll be able to see what the SERP results is for that keyword. So first you'll be able to see the monthly search volume for that specific keyword. Next, you'll be able to see the strongest competitor. So you'll be able to see who's ranking, um, who has the highest domain authority, the highest trust on Google um, for that specific keyword. And you'll also be able to see the Google results breakdown. So you'll be able to see the organic results, the featured snippets, local search ads, and knowledge graph. And again, if we scroll down here, we'll be able to see what the landscape looks like for that specific keyword. So we'll be able to see which websites are ranking their domain competitiveness, their trust flow, their citation flow, and some other important information, which will allow us to assess if it would be easy or hard for us to rank for that specific keyword. And below the SERP analysis, you have the rank tracker. So this is a very simple um, rank tracker. It allows you to go ahead and track any keywords in which you would like to for your specific website. So just go ahead and enter your keywords, enter your domain here, and you'll be able to track your keywords um, over time. So you'll be able to see if you gained or if you lost any rankings for those keywords. So again, just go ahead and enter your domain, your keywords, your location, and you can also set up how often you want to go ahead and track those keywords. And as you can see, you can track for Google, for Yahoo, and for Bing. Once you're happy, go ahead and click retrieve. So once you set up your rank tracker, you just need to give it some time for the data to aggregate and for it to pull data on those specific um, keywords in which you added on. But over time, you'll be able to see where your keywords rank on Google.
Below the rank tracker is your backlink analysis. So this is another really useful tool. This will allow you to really improve your off-page SEO. So just go ahead and enter your competitors, go ahead and click retrieve, and you'll be able to see which backlinks are pointing back to this specific website. So you wanna go ahead and filter and find only backlinks that have a high domain authority within your specific niche that's ranking to a competitor. And if you find one, you wanna go ahead and hit them up and try to get a backlink from them as well. For some reason, this specific feature isn't working on my plan of when I had to send them a message, but this is a useful tool because it allows you to see what competitors are linking out to other websites or blogs within your niche. And you can also do a backlink analysis for your own website to see what domains are also linking back to your own websites. But overall, if you're in SEO or you're a digital marketer or you're trying to grow a website or blog, I think this is a very, very useful tool for you to have, especially if you can get it at this time when they have a lifetime deal, you can save a lot of money in the long run and you'll have access to a very powerful keyword research and competitive research tool. So again, if you wanna go ahead and grab the lifetime deal for Longtail Pro, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.